technical obstacle. Could you recognize your problem as one of them? If you could recognize that the problem that met at this time point belongs to conflict with cyberwork, you can add the note aside from your diagram. Try to categorize your problems with the problems listed here. Did you lose your confidence? Did you lose your passion? Or did you lose the challenges? You felt the speech was so easy, you lost your challenges. Or you had ever, you had graduated, or your school become so busy, you have no time to join Toastmasters at all. You have conflict with your life and work. Example for you to draw your Toastmaster check. Later, you can add more detail about that after my description. And why is me here to deliver this workshop? I don't know why that I encounter a lot of problems on my way of Toastmaster's journey. And this is exactly my Toastmaster's check. I spent so many time to revise and to draw this picture to make it simple and make it easier to, under to make you understand how did I encounter this every, quest every problems that I mentioned in the beginning on my way of Toastmasters track. And ev every point, the every down, down every time when the, the curve of passion get down, I almost uh, give up and left the Toastmasters and no longer would like to, to touch this kind of feel. But how did I find my solution to overcome it? That is what I'm going to share today. Although the, what I'm going to share might not be the final, the only solution, but I'd like to share with you. And in, in this workshop, we will start from our starting point. Please ask yourself, how did you meet Toastmasters? I still remember one chart made by our, pre, our current president, Richard. That is the, the manners you approach Toastmasters. Some from 30% of them from your friends, the introduction of your friends, 20% from the posters posted in the campus, and 20% from electric advertisements like the PTT or websites, and 20% from club exhibition, and 10% from other manners. And for me, I, I know Toastmasters from club exhibition. And what, what's yours? Write down your answer. You, I believe you still remember this. From poster, from friends, from electric ads, or club exhibition. In 2006, I point out the timeline layer. I met Toastmasters in club exhibition. At that time, I'm a freshman in NTU. I thought, wow, such a terrible club. But I, I'm really eager to know how if I put myself in this terrible club, will I become different? At that time, I'm quite really shy and introvert. But if I could survive in this club for one, at least one semester, how will it be? I really want to give it a try. But after this thought, after you see the poster, see the introduction from your friends, and so on. Did you actually go to the Toastmasters meeting? For me, I wait for one year. I just hide in, in, in a computer and to visit the PTT of NTUTN. But I dare not approach the meeting room at all because it's too terrible. Imagine one year, I just hide there and keep search, keep follow the meeting, the photos of every meeting. Finally, one year later, I approached the meeting room. It happened to be 701 in Erbo. 
And please ask yourself, how did you start your Toastmasters journey? According to my observation and statistics, 30% of people, because of, they, could you see that? Language. Oh, okay. Language. Because of the improvement of language, you would like to improve your English, your English. And 20% of people would like to improve their delivery because public speaking is not an easy task at all. And 20% of people like to purely make friends. And 20% of people, oh, they would like to know more about themselves. And other 10% of people for other reasons. How, what's your intention? To join Toastmasters? Write on your answer. Because of language? Because of delivery? Or you like to make friends? Know more yourself more? Or other reasons? For me, it's about know myself more. I'm the people who are too shy to even talking, talk with others. I dare not talk with others even in Chinese. I would like to know how if I become a people who dare to say something in front of others. How if I have a chance to exchange my ideas with others. What it will be. This is my reason to start my Toastmasters journey. So that, so our, the, do you still remember the timeline you draw? When you step into the team meeting room, that will be the time point when you start your Toastmasters journey. And I start at 2007, September. And what impressed you the most in Toastmasters when you step into the meeting room of TM? For me, I'm impressed by the legendary speakers, excellent, excellent hosts, excellent hosts. And what have you witnessed? Um, in different generations of, of presidents, they will do something new and something creative. Have you witnessed something that is become the prototype of, of the, the club or become a pioneer of the club? For me, I witnessed the photo, the prototype of, of SGD. Before, there are no SGD in Toastmasters. But at that time, our officer team would like to build a, an atmosphere that you could join aside from the meeting. And so, so we created some study group discussion in study from Saturday. And now it turned into a workshop in, in, uh, so far. So I witnessed the prototype of it. And when you see a lot of people stand on stage and receive the awards, please ask yourself, are you already one of them? Have you already stand on stage in Toastmasters meeting and receive some awards, no matter if it's the certificates or the, the awards? But how if someone has not even tried? Two years after I, one year after I joined Toastmasters meeting, I had not, I had never stand on the stage of Toastmasters. When EDP asked me to sign up as a speaker, I reject because I don't believe that I can make it. I might be killed on the stage. And when people, when a tabletop master, master, master asks me to be the, the speaker, I reject and I leave the meeting room because I don't think I can make it. It's too terrible to make it. So when I go back to the timeline of myself, although I have a high level of passion, I really want to make it. But I had never stand, stand on the stage. Do you have this kind of problem? When you join Toastmasters, but you dare not take any chance to practice. Isn't it a big problem for Toastmasters? So I met my first mental obstacle. What's that? Could you guess? Yeah, confidence. Yes, it is lack of. I don't have confidence at all. So how did it stop me from moving? I spent one year here, but I did not take any chance to stand on stage. I also find some questions from your questionnaire that is really similar to this problem. Could not conquer the fear, could not conquer the fear, and are not willing to uncover yourself. 
And this is exactly what I encountered at that time. And what's the tip for that? I, I find it useful to ask you four questions when you have obstacles in Toastmasters. That is, what's the facts? What's the, your concerns? What's your original intention? And do you still want to achieve it? I would like to make it into a chart to help you to analyze your own problem, like this one, for chart. In the upper part of this chart, you could describe the facts, that the, that the facts, and for the and this part, or it's also the fact, but this is the actual status, and this is the your expectation. I will give you an example later. You can see the principle now. And you can put your concerns here and your original intention. I, I, I will use my, exam, my, my story as an example. For me, I thought the people on the stand, stage, stage are extremely <coughs> active, extremely competent, and extremely creative and interesting. But how about me? This is a fact facts in my mind. I'm so shy. I'm very introvert. And I'm not I'm unable and not competent in English, in public speaking, in any kinds of delivery. Also, for, uh, my personality is really boring and I'm not creative at all. And if I compare these two facts together, I will, I, I will, my concern is that can I overcome the huge differences between others and I? How will, how will I stand on stage but I'm so cool and so different from others? Will they allow me to stand on stage? But what's my intention? I come here just because I want to overcome that, the huge differences between others and I. Also, in the beginning, I already know that how different, how, how huge the differences is. What am I afraid of? So for you made, made a, a problem, you could analyze like this. And you will have some answer like this. And I will skip to another problem, that is, some people will say, you will find other people uh, tell their personal stories and points of views on the stage. but. I, for me or for you, you just used to keep that in mind. You dare not share your your mind and your personal stories on the stage. I find some audience <coughs> have this kind of problem. When you, and please ask yourself, what's your concern? Your concern may, might, might be, it's really dangerous and uncomfortable to uncover myself in front of a huge group of audience. But ask yourself, what do you want? When you stand on stage, I just want to be understood by others, isn't it? And another point is you, a point you might find after you get to work. That is, when you at working place, you will find a few chance to be understood by others. At that time, when you still thought standing on stage and, um, and uncover yourself is it really dangerous and uncomfortable? After you ask yourself these questions, and for, for me, I ask myself these questions. Although I know the differences really between others and I, although I know it's really dangerous when I stand on stage and tell my personal story and personal point of view in front of a huge audience, but I just want to overcome it, isn't it? I just want to make this chance to be understood by others. So there's no conflict at all. I go on my first, I finally deliver my C1 speech after, in the end of 2008. And in this speech, I try to tell others how special my major is and the special story I encountered at, in my childhood. Mm, yes. I, yeah, I deliver the detail of the examination analysis in the speech. After the speech, it's really a, a spe it's really special. 
It is that is my first time to stand on stage and say something, and as well as telling other people so many secrets of me. So for this problem, I would like to conclude. How will you do if you lack confidence in the beginning? That is, clarify your concerns, clarify your original intention. Then face the music. No matter how poor your skill is, you already know that. So face the music, move on, then move on. So ask yourself, do you have these kind of problems? Um, for example, if you had, not, had never tried evaluation, to be individual evaluator, will it be will it because that you thought you could not make it? Or ask yourself about other, all other questions related to this lack of confidence. Wow, it's time to take a break so fast. So you are invited to come back in five minutes. We will start another session of that. <laughs>